Now this was the previous video was about the PCBs, but we do have another component on board our CubeSat, which is in mass consideration is much more important, and that's our batteries. Now batteries, battery technology has progressed a lot in the last years and continue to do so, and it's really a question of getting as much power uh, on board your satellite as possible for the same mass. Now, we found some batteries here, uh, these are a standard set of batteries, which are actually uh, 5000 milliamps um, hours in their size. And that is approximately the double of the size of some of the other batteries we've been able to do, which could be very important for us for our uh, for our uh, mission in space. Now, these are not uh, approved for space applications as it is, and that of course means that a certain test has to be done. And the first test we did was very similar to our PCB. We actually put it into vacuum chamber and kept it in for a certain number of hours. Uh, just to see that nothing uh, happened, that no leakage were observed or something like that. The curve is a bit uh, strange and most likely, the most likely explanation is that this point is uh, a mismeasurement, um, uh, something writing wrong uh, on the way probably. Nevertheless, we have a general conclusion which is that those batteries are actually very, very um, resisting to vacuum. Their mass loss in terms of percent of their mass is an order of magnitude below uh, what happens on the PCB, so basically no loss whatsoever. Uh, and so far they've been very resisting uh, to being in vacuum and the next thing we're going to do is to test them on the load, also in vacuum, and test their temperature uh, as we go. And this is something we will come back to you on another video. For right now, what we can say is that running our test uh, for something looking like 60 hours uh, or similar to that seem to have got rid of most of what can evaporate, most of the outgassing. Uh, and that's what we are going to standardize on. So all our components are going to be in vacuum for a week. Uh, and a week is 168 hours if we calculated that right. So that for the batteries will be out here and for the other curves we're, let's say, halfway on the total um, number of hours we've been running the tests. Thank you very much.